Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go and check out some of the grocery prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Target here, I uh, wanted to come right to the Tillamook cheese here. People were asking where I've gotten the bricked, the little slices here in the packages. Uh, this is it. This is the only place I've been able to find these. They are $4.29. Sometimes you can get a little bit of a sale on them. But yeah, they're good. What's also pretty good and a little cheaper here are the Good and Gather ones. Um, they got all different kinds here. They got the uh, Pepper Jack, got the Mild Cheddar, Colby Jack. Um, pretty good here. You know, I tried these Good and Gather organic string cheese things. I didn't really care for them. These are better and a little cheaper. I like how Target is putting these new lower price things on here. Sometimes these are wrong though. We saw an instance where it was not right, but I don't know if they just didn't change the sticker on it though. But uh, yeah, these are three. These were three forty nine down to three nineteen. Good regular price on Sargento. We got a comment asking if I would check out some of the Oscar Mayer deli meat. Um, still four ninety nine here. Uh, these are 9-ounce packages, I believe. Yes, 9-ounce package. Now, these have been going up in some other stores. Still $4.99 at, or $4.98 at Walmart the last time I checked. But yeah, we've been seeing them go up to $5.29. Some places even $5.49. So, Target's still another good option for some of this. I did just notice that Claus and Pickles, we get comments on these from time to time, did go up. They were $3.99 here at Target, making it a cheap option for them, but I can see they have raised their price to $4.99. I figured while we're at it, we might as well check out some of the good and gathered uh, different deli meats here. I've had this one before. This is pretty good. Um, we've had the turkey breast here. This is a bigger one. This would cost a little more, uh, but these 9-ounce ones are $3.99, so dollar cheaper than Oscar Mayer and Hillshire Farm and Cons. Hillshire Farm and Cons went up here. Uh, it's been a little while, but these were $3.99 here forever. When we saw them go up to $5.29 at Kroger, they are now $4.89. So another price increase. See, so this is the funny thing. I don't know if I pointed this out the last time, but their fries here, these waffle fries were $2.79 forever. Uh, we saw them go up to $3.19, and we saw them put this new lower price on here. Well, we never saw them go up to $3.49, but I'm assuming that these went up to $3.49 also. They just never put the sticker out here. But now with the lower price, they're $3.19. Same with the shoestring fries right here. So even though I believe you can pretty much air fry any of this stuff here, um, Tyson actually has a specialized air fry perfectly crispy 75 percent less fat parmesan chicken bites that parmesan's the word there that uh drew my attention we had a comment someone was looking for frozen shrimp another good option here at target uh the good and gather never had this kind but everything we've had from good and gather has been good um except for that organic cheese over there wasn't real big on that, but uh, $8.49 for a 71, 71 to 90 count uh, small cooked shrimp. And they have some of the raw here on sale actually for $8.99. That's good until April 1st. Also, today is March 28th, 2023. So you will have until Saturday, April 1st to get any of the sales that we see stuff on sale. One thing we have tried are the Good and Gather frozen vegetables, and I gotta say, they are great. They really are, and they're only 99 cents. That is up from 79 cents from just a couple few months ago, which made it the cheapest around. But 99 cents now, I still feel like this is worth it because they've been going up pretty much everywhere. Someone asked if I would check out some bird's eye frozen vegetables. You know, I mean, the prices here seem close to the same as everywhere else but I mean more compared to like Walmart than Kroger Kroger has been getting really expensive and some of the birds I hear the super sweet corn and the green beans uh, 99 cents even the mixed vegetables dollar 19 that's a dollar 29 at Kroger Target has their market pantry hams here for 99 cents a pound I had a feeling they might have these uh, we've gotten good comments on them 
I saw something interesting here. They have crushed garlic cubes, crushed ginger cubes, and sauteed chopped onion, frozen. Um, $2.99 for these. These used to be $2.99 also. They went up to $3.19. Kind of got me thinking that might be $3.19 also. But good to see these. You know, we get comments on these kind of things from time to time. Never really see them anywhere. So just wanted to point that out. Does look like Target has gotten some ball mason jars back in. Um, I know we've been getting a lot of comments about these lately. Uh, so Walmart on the 32 ounce here was $13.99, $15.49 here. Same price on this size. The the pint ones here at Walmart, 16 ounces, 16 ounce jars. So $13.99. But yeah, we've been seeing these prices go up on pretty much all of these. One thing we've also gotten some comments on are the lids. People say that it, the lids are hard to find sometimes. They do sell them here at Target for all these different prices. Got some of the wide mouth lids, regular lids, 12 lids and bands. So good to see that Target has these options. We are always getting comments on these Amy's Organic Bowls. They are on sale this week until April 1st, 2023. Regular price, $5.89, which these went up. I noticed that regular price, these were $5.79. Um, but $5.89 now on sale for $5.30. No extra purchase required, but I gotta say, it's rare that we see a good sale on these. Probably the best sale I've seen on them in a while. It's been about a year since we saw the sale for $4.99. And we get a lot of people on the channel who are always looking for plant-based options. Target is a good place for this, guys. They sell a lot of the Morningstar products. Got the vegetizers. <laughs> uh, different kind of things here. The Sweet Earth. Remember, there's a long-time viewer on the channel here that likes this stuff. I, this is one of the only places I could find it. Um, holy veggie. <laughs> Lots, lots of different plant-based options here. Um, got the golden crust. I don't know, that's, that's interesting. They've got the uh, now carbon neutral Evol. Is that how you say that? Evil? Evil? <laughs> they have the power bowls. Okay, so this is kind of funny. So if you see the, the regular price, see, I hate when they do this. Uh, <laughs> 369 right but did the price go up or okay so it says 429 each so these are actually 429 i guess they just didn't change the sticker like how did they not notice that two for eight so four dollars i don't know that's funny this is what we were talking about the other day were these life cuisine meals they put new lower price on here these were 429 and now they're 449 what this is, now it's getting confusing. We got a comment about some of these Jimmy Dean. You know, if these stickers are correct, it's really not bad because these have been shooting up in price lately. Uh, four count, $6.99. Those are $7.99 to even $8.99 in some stores. These ones, the eight count, $11.29. These are $12.99 regular price at Kroger. I don't, I don't know. That's crazy, but $11.29 here. So I know somebody asked about the uh, Kodiak Power Cakes here, Power Waffles and stuff. They are $5.69 now. They do have a lot of uh, the Good and Gather. We've been getting a lot of good comments on some of these protein waffles, and everybody seems to love these Belgian waffles. Belgian waffles are only $3.69, so much better deal. And I did just notice that Egos went up here also. We've been seeing them go up everywhere else. Just wanted to point out they went up here too. They were $2.89. 289 and now 319. I know there's a couple viewers on the channel. Um, I know you have a uh, kids who need gluten free. Just wanted to point this out. I saw this here. It's Earth's Best uh, gluten free, like chicken nuggets and different meatballs in here. Some different options. Always good to have options. I'll tell you what, we got a lot of people on the channel that love Hot Pockets. We keep getting comments on them. <laughs> Usually older videos. Just wanted to uh, say these are on sale. Even the regular price is better than what we've been seeing these for. $3.19 to $3.29. $2.99 regular price here, but two for five this week. So you can get it for what the regular... These were $2.49 last year, so you can get it for what the regular price was. Oh, wait a minute. Daggone it. Look at that. They didn't pull the sticker. Sorry. Nope, that deal's expired. $2.99 a box. 
we got another comment on peanut butter or some, you know, this, we get comments pretty much all the time from older videos and newer videos. Uh, people having trouble finding peanut butter. This is the most peanut butter that Target has had in a while. Um, and I don't know if they just weren't getting it in or what the case was, but uh, it is another option. If you're having trouble finding, they got the Good & Gather uh, 16 ounce butter there for $1.79, so same price as Kroger. Um, and that'll probably be going up here eventually. $6.99 now for the 40 ounce thing of Jif. Um, yeah, $12.39 now for the two pack. It's been a little while, but we got a comment on some uh, juice concentrate, frozen juices here. Um, yeah, $1.79 for these. This is Old Orchard. I don't feel like that's too bad of a deal. Oh, look at this. I got some Aussie uh, super fruit packs here. Got some wild blueberries up here. Thirteen twenty nine for that. Jeez. Well, I don't know. That is three pounds. And they do have all kinds of frozen fruit here. Got some big bags. Um, it's always, you know, always good to have some big bags of it so you don't have to keep racing to the store to get more. Got some pineapple chunks there. Colada. Uh, Colada Tropical Blend. Mixed berry blend there. That's, what is that? That's $2.99 for 12 ounces. Yeah. It is pretty easy to find these new lower price sticker things as long as the sticker price is right. But we can tell that this, this was a little over $3 and now they are $2.99 for Sara Lee bread, making it way cheaper than Kroger. Kroger is $4.49 regular price on Sara Lee bread. That is just pretty absurd. And we always get comments, you know, why we shop at Target. People wonder why we shop for groceries at Target. This is why. I mean, you know, some of this stuff is cheaper. They they work out different deals. This is 20 ounce of butternut bread, $2.49. This same thing is $3. $3 at Kroger. So, you know, they've got Sunbeam here still for a decent price, $1.89. Um, this is $2.39 now at Kroger. It was $2.29, but I believe it went up to $2.39 at Kroger. We'll have to check. But uh, even even bagels, like Thomas Bagels, even though they did go up, they were $3.99, $4.19, but $4.79 at Kroger, $4.39 at Meyer, so a little cheaper at Meyer also, but still, you know, okay prices. Wanted to check out some of the baking stuff in the baking aisle here. They still haven't lowered their sugar. Still $2.99 for the cheapest. Couldn't gather four pounds. This was $1.99 last year, just to give you an idea. It's gone up a dollar. Uh, they've got some different bread flour here. $5.99 for the King Arthur bread flour. $2.49 for a five-pound bag of the Good & Gather all-purpose flour. Um, and the all-purpose King Arthur, $5.59. And, oh, and that crystal sugar down there, that's $2.99 also now. It used to be $2.49. That just, that just went up like a couple weeks ago. So they have new lower prices on this different Good & Gather olive oils, but I don't know what these prices were, so I couldn't tell you if that's true or not. I will say that this is a huge 50.8 50, 50 ounces uh, jug of olive oil for $13.29. Again, never had a problem with any Good & Gather products. I think that's some avocado oil spray. There is some avocado. Oh no, they're sold out of it. Usually they have the California Olive Ranch avocado oil, but it does look like it is, does look like it's sold out. They have Crisco vegetable oil down here. Now this says, okay, yeah, it is the shrinkflated 40 ounces, $5.99 though. I mean, we've been seeing that kind of skyrocket lately. Uh, I mean, that's 50 cents cheaper than Kroger. Actually, no, Kroger might have went up. I don't know, we'll have to check. It's been a while since I've checked. They were $6.49 at Kroger, and the canola oil was uh, $7.49. dollar more for that, but that's an okay price for now. I mean, it's not an okay price, but for what it's gone up to in other stores, uh, it's, I don't know, it's not bad. Sometimes it is hard to talk about some of these prices. Like, I want to say, oh, that's a good deal, when really it's not. $5.99 for a shrink-flated thing of Crisco oil is ridiculous. But it's still a better price than Kroger. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's it's hard to say it sometimes. Like, oh yeah, it's a good price. No, it's not. So a longtime viewer of the channel was saying that they were having trouble finding the 100% pure pumpkin 
Uh, they do have the Libby's here at Target, still $2.79. We've seen this go up at some other stores. Wouldn't be surprised if it goes up here too. Just wanted to point out this is another option here at Target. So if you're looking for a lot of these different dry beans and rice, again guys, I wouldn't hesitate. You find a good deal on it, buy up one or two, make sure you got enough before the next price increase. Because we saw where the uh, Good and Gather, the chickpeas, the lentils, pinto beans, all of these were $1.29 just a couple months ago. Now they're $1.59. This kind of stuff has been going up in price. Uh, we have a new lower price here. What is this? Two pounds of long grain white rice for $1.79. Well, let's see. What was it before that? Okay, $1.89. So it went down 10 cents. Now, now they do have the small one pound bags if you don't need much uh, for 99 cents a bag. And that includes the long grain brown and the long grain white rice. They do have a bit of a sale on Del Monte canned vegetables, four for five dollars. Uh, here you do have to buy four, but you might as well because they're $1.49 a can. Now, we've been getting a lot more good comments on the organic. Uh, they're the same price. Uh, these have not changed uh, of the uh, Good & Gather brand organic, and some of them are a little cheaper. Got the black beans here for $1.29. Got the uh, Canelli beans, Cannellini, Cannellini, Cannell. Cannellini, dollar <laughs> twenty nine, and then they have the three bean here. Uh, and these are dollar twenty nine, and what is this? Didn't gather beans, original chili beans, ninety nine cents. That's what I was talking about. Some of these olive prices. Now these have things stuffed in them, so they're a little bit more extra work. They are four nineteen though. Remember we, <laughs> you know, we saw these at Aldi for like half the price. Um, you know, and, and they had the, the blue cheese ones that looked really good at Aldi. Uh, they got the Kalamata ones here, three sixty nine. You know, I mean, they, they are getting a little pricey. Now, I will say, these are pretty good. And this is the uh, the Target brand, the Market Pantry, $1.59. So that's about the cheapest you're going to get here. Okay, so I need somebody to let me know down in the comments. Why is this distilled water gallon two dollars and 49 cents that is absolutely ridiculous on a brighter note they do have the ice mountain 32 pack for six dollars and 69 cents back in i haven't seen these here at target in a while it's been a few few trips well look at this this is in the wrong spot i just wanted to point this out vegan nacho vibes more importantly you got Bob on the cover. Okay, so I don't know how your target would be, but they do have a lot of different uh, vegetable seeds and stuff. I always like to point this stuff out. Get outside, get growing if you can. If you live in an apartment, get you some, get you some pots like this. Yeah, see this, something like this already has like the, that's what that's for. Well, sort of. And I know someone had mentioned the other day, make sure you drill holes in the bottom of a plastic pot if you're going to be growing vegetables. It's always a smart idea. Want it to aerate, also let the water kind of flow through so you don't get different stuff on the plants. Look at this. I got a bunch of different catnip, basil, cilantro, a bunch of herbs, even some flowers. Look at those. Morning glories. Love those. It is nice that Target sells Fiskars products too. You know, probably a little more pricey than what you're going to pay for more of the cheaper stuff. But this, there's a reason for that. This is good stuff here. Uh, I've always liked Fiskars brand. Um, yeah, I mean, they got a good amount of stuff here at Target. I'm kind of surprised they actually have this much. And it's about that time of the year, guys. At least for us. Um, got some grills here. Got. Don't forget about the charcoal. Glad I saw this. Uh, they've been saying, I've read in a couple reports, that they're going to have, uh, there may be a shortage of charcoal this year. Uh, so you may want to buy up one or two. Get you through, get you through to the end of summer at least. Spring is pretty much my favorite time of the year. Everything comes back to life. All the green. Cincinnati, Ohio, it's pretty much chilly up until end of March, early April. Time to get the grill up and running. I mean, I, I pretty much grill all year anyway, but we definitely grill out a lot more when the weather gets better. 
Two more days until Reds, Cincinnati Reds opening day. I am excited. I, I love the Reds. I know they haven't been the best over the last couple years, but I love them anyway. They're our home team. Uh, and Target seems to always sell a lot of different Reds gear. It's a little pricey here. It'd be a little cheaper at Walmart. Uh, but you know what? I don't know. I mean, $9, $10 for these nice socks here. I don't know. Designer socks. It's pretty nice. They got some t-shirts. Go Reds! Well, that was our trip to Target. Um, you know, prices continue to go up. We did see some good deals and some regular price deals that are better than pretty much every other store. I know people always say I'm crazy for shopping at Target, but this is why we come here. You know, we get some pretty good deals. Uh, you know, if you, if you add up a lot of this stuff, you know, I could get 10 items from here that I added up today with bread and some other snacky type stuff and really save about between eight and ten dollars of what I would have spent at Kroger with it with it not being on sale at Kroger so uh, but you know we always buy up the sales as we see them but you know Target does have some good options glad we were able to point out uh, some of the things that you guys have asked about those Amy bowls we get comments on those all the time they are on sale for five dollars and thirty cents a piece better than 589 um, and some of the other things good to see that they actually have ball mason jars uh, we've been getting comments that they've been wiped out in a lot of stores across the country. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.